this is the structure of abstract factory pattern we will see how this is implemented in javascript source this is the class abstract factory it has method create product one inside this we are throwing error with message create product one must be defined in subclasses so this method must be defined in subclasses otherwise if it is used then it will throw error and here is the method create product two inside this we are throwing error with message create product two must be defined in subclasses so this method must be defined in subclasses otherwise if it is used then it will throw error so in this way we are achieving abstract method in javascript okay here we have class concrete factory one derived from abstract factory using prototype and here we are overriding the method create product one inside this we are creating product one under score one object instance and we are returning it and here we have method create product two so we are overriding the method create product two inside this we are creating product two underscore one object instance and we are returning it so we can see concrete factory one is creating series one product one underscore one and two underscore one okay here we have class concrete factory 2 derived from abstract factory using prototype and here we are overriding the method create product 1 inside this we are creating product 1 underscore 2 object instance and we are returning it and here we are overriding the method create product 2 inside this we are creating product 2 underscore 2 object instance and we are returning it so we can see concrete factory 2 is creating series 2 product product 1 underscore 2 and product 2 underscore 2 okay here we have class abstract product 1 and we have method display and inside this we are throwing error with message display must be defined in subclasses so this method must be defined in subclasses otherwise if it is used then it will throw error so we are achieving abstract method in this way in javascript Here is the class product one underscore one derived from abstract product one using prototype. And here we are overriding the method display. Inside this, we are just displaying this statement inside product one underscore one display. Okay, class name and method name. And here we have class product one underscore two derived from abstract product one and here we are overriding the method display inside this we are just displaying this statement okay and here we have class abstract product two inside this we have method display and in this method we are throwing the error with message display must be defined in subclasses so this method must be defined in subclasses otherwise if it is used then it will throw error and here we have class product 2 underscore 1 derived from abstract product 2 using prototype and here we are overriding the method display inside this 
we are just displaying this statement and here we have method product 2 underscore 2 derived from abstract product 2 using prototype and here we are overriding the method display and inside this we are just displaying this statement okay we will see how all these classes are used so here we are creating concrete factory 1 object instance and we are assigning it to variable factory 1 and here we are creating concrete factory 2 object instance and assigning it to variable factory 2 and here we have variable prod1 and prod2 and these statements are used for creating series 1 products ok so here we are calling the method create product 1 of factory 1 factory 1 is pointing to concrete factory 1 object instance so it will go to concrete factory 1 create product 1 so concrete factory 1 create product 1 is here so it creates product 1 underscore 1 object instance and that is returned so product 1 underscore 1 will be assigned to object instance of product 1 underscore 1 will be assigned to prod 1 and when the method display is called it goes to product 1 underscore 1 display so it will come here and it will display this inside product 1 underscore 1 display ok and here we are calling the method create product 2 of factory 1 so again it will go to concrete factory 1 but this time method is create product 2 so concrete factory 1 create product 2 so it will come here and here it will create product 2 underscore 1 object instance and that is returned so product 2 underscore 1 object instance will be assigned to variable prod2 so when the display method of prod2 is called it goes to product2 underscore 1 display so it will come here and it will display this so we can see first time it was product1 underscore 1 and then product2 underscore 1 so series 1 products are created ok so it displays this product2 underscore 1 display ok and here through these statements it is creating series 2 product and we are using them ok here the method create product 1 of factory 2 is called so factory 2 is pointing to concrete factory 2 object instance so concrete factory 2 create product 1 so it will come here and it will create product 1 underscore 2 object instance and that will be returned so product 1 underscore 2 object instance will be assigned to prod 1 and when the method display is called it will go to product 1 underscore 2 display so it will come here and it will display this ok and then the next statement is it's calling create product 2 of factory 2 so concrete factory 2 
create product two. So it will come here and it will create product two underscore two object instance and that will be returned. So product two underscore two object instance will be assigned to variable prod two. And when the method display is called here, it will go to product two underscore two display. So it will display this. Okay, we will run this program and we will see the output. So you can see when the prod one display is called create product one returns product one underscore one object instance. from here. So when the method display is called, it goes to product one underscore one display. And this is displayed inside product one underscore one display. You can see it here. And then here, when the display method of prod two is called, so prod two here create product 2 of factor 1 returns product 2 underscore 1 object instance so it will go to product 2 underscore 1 display so here so it will display this inside product 2 underscore 1 display and here when the method display is called calls the method display of product one underscore two because this create product one of factory two returns product one underscore two object instance. So you can see here this one. So it goes to when the method display is called it goes to product one underscore two display here and it displays this and here when the method display is called of prod two prod two is pointing to product two underscore two object instance because factory two of create product two returns product two underscore two object instance. So when the method displays called, it comes here and it displays this. So we can see here we are using concrete factory for creating family of product. So in this case factory one is creating series one products and in this case factory two is creating series two products.